Friday, July the 11th, I believe. And that means best of! Best of! In case you don't know what best of is, or you're tuning in because you watch pop culture and you're like, oh, they're going to talk about stuff I like. Well, it's we're our doing, favorite yeah. five of something. We're doing the top five list. Uh, no real order to no these order. things. Cause... And I'm going to go ahead and preface this one by saying this is my favorite five list when I made the list. These This list changes for me all the time. Oh, my, I'm mine not generally lie. does as well, but... I, I so, kind of went. I kind of went with a, a general all time. And I just tried to do that. And I'm going to be honest yeah. with you, I, I failed. I really did fail. And I'll talk about why as we go through our list. All right. So you want to start? Or you want me to start? I'm more than happy to start if you want me to. Fire us away, all man. All right. So the list topic was the top, the best of top five actors slash actresses slash whatever the word gender you want to call it is, uh, in their best and worst roles. In their best and worst roles. So the one in our wanted, opinion, by the it, way. Yeah, in our opinion, the the one I wanted to start with was Bill Murray. Um, while I love Bill Murray, I think that you guys kind of idolize him a little much. Like, a like, I love Bill Murray, I but dang. the ground nah. that Bill Murray walks on. Best role? Caddyshack. Hands down, no questions oh, asked. well, yeah. He's at the back nine. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, at least you got the echo for it's me. It's a Cinderella story. The thing about that, why it's his best role, is it's pretty much 95% improvisational yeah yeah so yeah. you ask him to tell him tell stories about being on that set he I think can't it's one because they were already doing best roles too. drugs and alcohol yeah, yeah. and all sorts of stuff I and apparently that worked it, and that's why Saturday Night Live used to be good for him it did worst lost in translation I know we Thank talked you. about Scarlett Johansson yesterday God, I hate but that, that movie. movie is terrible it's and terrible. I even enjoyed Broken Flowers I'm not just an indie oh, hating kind of guy I love I independent movie. movies but that movie Y'all overhyped that movie. It's not a love story. It's I a nothing so looking, story. I know. I got. I, and I bought into the hype, and I sat down. And I was like, Nope. Uh, nope. Terrible. Please take it away. Terrible. And for you people who think it's not terrible, it's you're wrong. It's terrible. You're, you're wrong. just wrong. It's just, you're just wrong. So I agree. I like Bill Murray. He didn't make, well, he's not on my list, but I, I like Bill Murray. He's a good guy. So I'm going to start. And this will be no surprise, by the way, who anyone who knows me personally, I'm going to start. You might surprise, because okay. I don't know if we've had this conversation or not. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Really? See, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. I, I, I kind of, I'm kind of in love with Jennifer Love Hewitt. All right, what's, what's the best movie she's been in? Well, so it's not a movie; it's an actual TV role. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, because right. it could be movie or TV. Just party five, best right? Role. Party five, right? You guys? No, God, no. Uh, the Ghost Whisperer. Because okay, I was, never saw. I was a big fan of that show. I <laughs> liked, I liked her as Melinda Gordon in that show. I kind of got pissed that it got canceled. Although it didn't. Isn't jump, she jerking off dudes on shark. Lifetime now? That show is canceled. Oh, surprisingly, hmm. and her worst role. Was a toss up between the client list, which Ooh. is the show you're talking about, and Garfield, because she yeah. was terrible in Garfield. Yeah, that's true. I mean, she was terrible. That's another Bill Murray movie, but she was she was terrible. And, and you in know that what? Movie. He apologized for Garfield. Yeah. That was that was in Zombieland. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. remember it, that, it was hilarious. Too. Absolutely great. Um, but yeah, so I, I just I've always had a kind of a thing for Jennifer Love Hewitt. I don't know why. I one of, one of the actors that I'm probably going to get crap for on from for, on and from the internet is Nicolas Cage. And well, he's he's the he's best and worst Nick- actor yes, in the world. Absolutely. So my best. He sent Nicholas- Abed to the freaking sanitarium. My my best Nicolas Cage movie is, believe it or not, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, which I don't Love know why movie. we never got a sequel to that. Well, they kept talking. We're gonna get a sequel. We're gonna get a sequel. Nope. Where's never the happened. sequel? And that was a Nick Cage role that was just Nick Cage. Uh, when when yeah. when the kid looks down and he's like, "Oh, you?" And he's just like, "A little bit." And I was just like, "Oh, I lost it. Yeah. I was done." Yeah. The worst is Ghost Rider. Which one? Pick one. I was gonna say, I was gonna ask which one, but you're right. It. Uh, they were both really bad. They would. Be- Although you know what, what is really close to that? Him as Johnny Cage. I would like to see him as Johnny Cage. Mm, no, because no. he would be he would be just oh. as bad as Johnny Cage if they redid Mortal Kombat. Because you know he was oh, gonna be would... Johnny Cage. That in, was the in, rumor in one, back in the, in the day. The reboot, but they, right? Yeah. And so, I just. I don't know. What's your next one? What do we got? So. <sighs> Well, I just want to say Nick Cage for a minute. I, I love Raising Arizona. I just want to put that out there. It's a fantastic film. Great, Great cult movie. classic. You should go see it. And you've never seen it, but I really like Gone in 60 Seconds. Never seen it. It's a very Nick no Cage movie. No urge to see it. It's a very no Nick Cage movie. No urge to see it. I'll watch Heathers first. I like Heathers. Mm. What the wrong with Heathers? <sighs> You're just too damn young. <clears throat> I, I'm serious. What's your next one? Gene Hackman. Hackman! Gene Hackman. Now, now my... This is... A, this is a, I, I, I have not looked at your list... I'm going to guess your best, okay? Go ahead, go ahead. Is it Enemy of the State? It is Enemy of the State. Ah! It is Enemy of the State. Way to go, buddy. And is your worst one Superman 3? 4. Oh, damn, I was so close. Because Quest for Peace was a pile of shit. It was so bad. Was that the Richard Richard Pryor No, Richard Pryor was 3. That was 3, yeah. And that's the second runner-up for one of the worst Superman movies. But Quest for Peace was worse than that. Yeah, oh, it was terrible. 
Um, and it's not because of Gene Hackman. It was a terrible it was, ass That movie. was when the Richard Donner switch, yes, and so they had bad. no idea what they were doing. They were literally making Superman movies just for money at that point, yeah. and they didn't make any money on it. Oh, film. God. It was, just, nope. it was terrible. That was actually the, the movie that caused the downfall of superhero movies and why it took so, it Hollywood so long. Because it was, it was essentially, terrible. It was the E.T. of video yeah. games for films. Yes, it was. Mm. And the reason I like Enemy of State, I want to talk about that movie, because it, it, it to me, was um, an NSA version of Hackers. Absolutely. it was so outlandish, uh -huh. the, the technology that they used. All right, now give me a 360-degree spin on that security camera. <laughs> yeah. Like, and you're like, it doesn't even have... A th <laughs> Enhanced. <laughs> Enhanced. Enhanced. Just Enhanced. put the damn thing! But the cast in that movie is so awesome. Will Smith, Gene Hackman... Jack Black, Seth Green. I mean, it was uh, a great. Yeah, that's a great film. Uh, it's just, uh, and well, we've talked about it on the show we before, have. so I'll, I'll stop. But <clears throat> Gene Hackman, my next one. So All right, fires away. Ellen Page, love Ellen Page. Ah, uh, Ellen Page. All right, so the best Ellen Page is a toss-up for me between two different roles. Oh, it's between Super and Hard Candy. And if you never saw Hard Candy, okay, whoa, that is a serious thriller, independent, and it's. It's about a subject not a lot of people want to talk about, which is pedof pedophilia. Okay. Um, and it's revenge porn in a way. Interesting. Uh, I would suggest if you guys haven't seen it, it was on Netflix for a while. Go seen check it, I'll have to it, go check it out. out. I love Ellen the Page. The worst. So. This is hard because I don't know if I've seen her in a bad role. So I have. Maybe I haven't seen this movie. I love Ellen Page, but I love Ellen Page in independent movies, and she's generally good in blockbusters, but not as a leading role. Oh, is I know where helping? you're going. I know where you're going. I'm going to go with Whip It, which yeah. was the female roller derby movie. <laughs> so that... I didn't see <clears throat> Whip It because Ooh. I knew it was going to be bad. It was terrible. Yeah, yeah I knew it was going to be bad. I watched it on DVD as a suggestion from a friend. It was like, yeah, if you love Ellen Page, you'll love this movie. And I hated it. Yeah, I don't. I absolutely did yeah. not get on with that movie whatsoever. Not a, I, I'm, not, I'm really not surprised. So what's your, what's your next one? Uh, Huge Jackman. Huge Jackman? Yeah, Huge, huge Jackman. Jackman. I love Huge Jackman. And and when I got to this one, it was going to be a toss up between him and Gerard Butler because they're. I'm going to take. I'm going to take but Jackman. I, I went over with Jackman. Butler. I went with Jackman. Day. Sorry, dude. Um, my my best role for him was a toss up between Real Steel. God, such a, I, and he I, had to lose all that muscle to be. I know. To, um, and two X Men movies. Which two? The first X Men movie okay. and Days of Future Past. All right, I'll give that to you. Yeah, like, it was really hard for me to choose. No, between it is. All those. It is really. But I think Real um, Steel is probably in my. Uh, that's his. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. his best non-character character. Role. Right. And that's kind of why I go. I, I kind of went with that one. Yeah. Worst uh, was a toss-up between any of the other X-Men movies. <laughs> or like Australia? Was it Australia? Uh, no, know? it was Van Helsing. <clears throat> oh, Van James Bond Van Wolverbat oh, is what I used to call so that movie. Bad. It was so bad. I love you, Hugh, but... Dude, was, dang, that movie I mean, was bad. Like, uh, it was an embarrassment to the... Gra oh, you know what it was? It was Hansel and Gretel which Hansel and Gretel, Gretel Witch, Witch Hunters Hunt. before its time. Yeah, That's what it, it was. was so Ooh. terrible. God, it was bad. So I got another female on the list. All right, bring it Sandra on. Bullock. Love Sandy Bullock. The net, y'all. I know what y'all are saying is, oh, Sandra Bullock fell off in the '90s. Well, clearly y'all haven't seen the best. Gravity. Uh uh. For me, the blinds was it. The, oh, yeah, the, the blind, blind side. side. I, I don't even like what's his name. Dwight Yoakam. Was oh uh, yeah, the, the yeah. husband. I, I don't or even something. like that I guy. But I don't I remember him who was. in that movie even. Look, I'm going to say this about The Blind Side. I never saw it in theaters. I avoided it for like two years. Oh, okay. And somebody was like, just sit down and watch it. I fantastic think you'll enjoy film. it. it and by the end of it, I was just like, oh my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's based on a true and story. And it's based on a true and story. that's why you start to have the feels. Absolutely. And it is that movie for an acting. There's a reason that they won awards for that movie. And it's, it is heartwarming. I love Sandy Bullock. I'm a de I'm, I'm dead inside I'm, I'm, for the most part, you. but wow. I'm with you. I love Sandy Bullock. So the worst one? Fire it off. Speed 2. We're on a boat, motherfucker. That is what that was. We are, Look, we're we on a boat, and here, if it doesn't go as fast, we're going to die again. Here's the thing again. about Speed 2. When, when... There's no way. There's You can't justify this movie. No, I'm not going to justify the movie. I was, I was I'm trying not to laugh. When Bill S. Preston Esquire turns the movie down, yeah. you don't need to shoot the movie. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just going to say that. I agree. So, At that point in time, Keanu uh, Reeves' career was yeah. just, he was he was up and down a yeah. lot. And he was they were like, right? hey, you want to come back for Speed 2? And he was like, no. no. Yeah. He went and filmed Chain Reaction instead, I think. Yeah, he did. Which is a movie that, I watched <laughs> to put me to sleep. Yeah, it, will. it really will. And that has Morgan Freeman in it, and it was a horrible movie. So. This was back when no one cared about Morgan Freeman, mind you. So. I cared. Yeah. I always cared. I, I fall asleep. I, I, I just, I'm not joking. 
when I need to sleep, I put that movie on. I'm asleep just before, before the mil- the building blows up. And if you haven't seen the movie, the building blows up within 15 minutes of airtime. Jeez. I'm What's gone. your next one? My next one is uh, another female. All right. Lucy Liu. Oh, really? I love Lucy Liu. I bet I know what your best and worst roles are going to be already. Fire away. Go ahead. Okay, I bet the best one's going to be Kill Bill. Actually, no. Really? All right. No. Although it was, it, it was up there. <clears throat> okay. It was, I mean, it was way up there. I, I got to know what it is because I don't really know the a lot TV of roles. Role. Ah, you're gonna do the is it Sherlock the yes. Sherlock Elementary Elementary yeah, um, and I haven't looked at the list. Elementary <laughs> is a great show. I thought it's you were a, gonna say the View. It's an awesome adaptation. She's not on the View. She was on the View. Was she really? No. Okay, I was that was say, Lisa Ling. I'm just I totally you. missed. I was like, what? Because I started not to like her for a second there. Um, you mean by Ling? No, that was Lisa, Lisa Ling from oh. Channel Two, Channel One, oh, Channel whatever that right. was. Like, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, uh, it's elementary. elementary. It's a fantastic show. She is Watson in mm-hmm. this show, and she was she's a really good actor, and she's amazing. Smart. I just, is all I, hell. oh god, I love, and I, I just, I love Lucy Liu to start with. So, worst role. I already know what it is. <laughs> Go ahead. It's a tie between Charlie's Angels one and two. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> what were y'all doing? I don't know. With the 90s, was a look, crazy look, time. I love Lucy Liu. I love Cameron Diaz. I love Drew Barrymore. Keep them away from each other, please. Yeah, you got to, because that those movies were terrible. Yeah. I even liked Demi Moore. That was Full Throttle she that was, was in, right? Full Throttle. Uh, was yeah, just, she played were, the bad the bad uh, guy, yeah, bad girl, the, the, the bad, bad person. former angel. Yeah. Mm. They all played bad angels. Let's just be honest. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I got my last one, right? All right. So my last one... Uh, <clears throat> The the actor is Christopher Walken, and his best role is, Night Live. is anything he's in. Yeah, <laughs> and at the same time, his worst role anything is he's... anything he's in <laughs> because Christopher Walken is the he's a crapshoot. He's, he's the Schrodinger's box yeah. of yeah. of acting yeah. because he is great at what he does and awful at what he does at the same time, and I'll never get it. But if you actually had to make me pick, yeah, two things, okay. best and worst. Give us best is probably going to be his role. In Pool Hall Junkies, which he actually produced and funded that movie. His son is the star of it. Okay. Uh, right. The worst role, however, is probably, and I hate to say this, the Prophecy movies. Oh, those are good movies, too. Didn't but think I think they were very good I movies. liked them. I actually Not liked the Prophecy. Fan. I For what they were, I liked them. I, I liked them. Was out cold. Right, that first one right. was boring. See, I would have picked one of his best roles, um, actually, for me, and people may not like this, but The Rundown. I knew that. See, that, and that was one of my... <laughs> I wanted to go for it, but yeah. I just couldn't do it. Because I mean, I love him as a bad guy. You, yeah, I, just, I mean, he is a he's a great he's, he's a, a great, great bad guy. guy. So, so all right, what's your last one? All right, finish up my list is another female, Emily Blunt. Oh God, I do love me some Emily Blunt. And who doesn't love Emily Blunt? And if you don't, if you just said I don't love Emily Blunt, you're doing it wrong. So, so I'm gonna assume that your best is the one that we recently saw. Yes, it is right. because I mean I've been a fan well, for what a is while. It? But Edge of Tomorrow... It was good. It was just amazing. It was really and good. she was amazing. She nailed it. it. Absolutely. <laughs> Do I have something on my face, soldier? <laughs> Come on! My- it's- oh my god, it was amazing. It was good. It was really, really good. <sighs> you want to go ahead and take a stab at my worst? You've been pretty on point. Well, I know that you haven't seen The Seven Year Engagement, which I also love, but I have a I feeling that this is going seen, to be a movie... I actually movie, have seen The Seven Year Engagement, because I like Jason Segel. But I think this is a movie, that, this is a that, movie that I really loved, yeah. and I'm going to be a little heartbroken. Was it Looper? Yes, it was. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> it was a good movie! Uh, Why do you people hate original <laughs> content? Because there's so many holes in that movie. That's the point, yeah. is that time travel isn't no. guaranteed. No, no. It's a terrible String movie. theory, damn it. I'm done. <laughs> Flip my fucking laptop. I don't give a shit. I mean, I love Emily Blunt, but I'm yeah, sorry. I, was, I can I'm sorry. I can understand. It was I'm a little sorry. over... It was, it was bad. It was bad. All right. I don't think I actually had any honorable mentions. So I actually have a ton. I had a hard time making this list. So I'm just going to run through them a little bit. Yep. If you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, one of them is Elementary's co-star, Sherlock himself. Do you even know his name? I do. What is it? It's Johnny Lee Miller. I don't, I don't even need to know. I know it's Johnny Lee Miller because he was in Hackers. Well, I was He's gonna, in elementary. I want to talk about Hackers. My... I actually want to talk about Hackers because there's a six degrees of Kevin Bacon with my honorable mentions. Because another one of my honorable mentions is Angelina Jolie. But if you're going to go see a Johnny Lee Miller film uh, that's on DVD right now, it's yeah. a thriller, which I don't know if you watched this, but I did suggest to you. It's called Mind Hunters. It also oh, has no, I have not Christian seen Slater, Val Kilmer, and JJ, or uh, LL Cool J. Oh, I. I... You um, got to see it. Is that on Netflix? Uh, it's not on Netflix anymore. I, I can go Redbox it, right? 
you and this is gonna sound bad. You may have to obtain a copy of this. I'm gonna go buy this movie. Good luck. Right. I, I I don't even know if it's if it's on DVD anymore. I'll find it. So, I'll find but it's a good film. It's a very good film. Uh, but Angelina Jolie, Johnny Miller. I kind of hate Angelina Jolie personally. I love Angelina Jolie. She got two good movies in my opinion: Hackers and Tomb Raider. I'm done. That's um, all I got for her. And I, got I liked her in Gone no, in love, Seconds too. No, no, no. Emma Stone. I love Emma Stone. I love Emma Stone, but you know, um, I just feel like she doesn't know her place in Hollywood at the moment yet. Like I, mean, I don't think she's found out. her her she is niche. Figuring, she is and she was at that out. weird age where she's doing right, continually right. different roles. So and she's good for also her. she's also one of the rumors for She Hulk potentially, which I not thought, which I find gonna, interesting. Nope. Um, Scarlett Johansson, Will Smith. Will Smith, I love some Fresh Prince. Except for After Earth. Cause, you know, you know what I'm going to say th- this, though. Anything that came out after Hancock can pretty much just go die in a fire. Yeah, it's true. You know what you have <clears> to thank uh, the whole show Fresh Prince of Bel-Air for? The IRS. You have the IRS to thank Yeah, for yeah, yeah, because he, he had a million dollars to pay off, and, and his agent Three suggested that he... Three quarters of his salary went yeah. to that for the first two years of production to pay off his tax yep. debt. And... It wasn't very popular in the first two seasons. It wasn't until he paid off the tax yeah. debt and stuff that it actually started being picked up because they were going to cancel yeah, it. They were going to cancel at it. one point but, too. And then, and I, you know, one of my favorite episodes. I know it's your favorite episode. We've even talked about this the Uncle episode Phil before. Feels episode. And that whole thing was ad libbed. Ad libbed completely. Like, and and the, even the hug at the end because that was, you know, <clears> they just felt like I got to hug you now because that was it was just so amazing. And then wrapping us off, Chris Pine and Jack Nicholson. I love Chris Pine, and I think that he's going to be somebody we're going to see a lot more of. And I don't know if this, but Jack Nicholson. Mm. Not new Jack Nicholson. Okay. Old Jack Nicholson. Because I'm thinking, like, when he started doing the rom coms. After, and after. Stuff, no, God, no. But <clears throat> basically, up to A Few Good Men. I'll give you up into Wolf. Okay. Uh, all right. All so, right. but after that, I was just kind of like, yeah. one, you're getting kind of yeah. old, and two, you're doing bad movies. Cause well, he did full he had a certain he did, standard he did, of life. He did a movie with Diane Keaton that was just terrible. I'm sure all the. I'm sure some people liked it. I didn't, I didn't like it. So well, that's, that's all. That's all the honorable mentions. List. I think that's it for the it's week. It's Friday. Time. Go out and have yourself a party. <laughs> but don't forget to subscribe with the little link. It's over there. And Click don't it. forget to like us on Facebook. That's stupid. Or it's Facebook.com/slash That Stupid Podcast. Call us four eight zero stupid nine and tell us your actors or actresses or acti or whatever the acti? rest of it. I don't know. Maybe you that's like a transgendered. You can't pluralize actor with acti. I'm just, I just did. You're. I'm not apologizing for nothing. Yeah, you never do. Actually, that's not true. Mm. I got it on tape. You apologize once. 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 Accepted. All right. Other than that, we'll see you guys next week. So, Steven, I'm going to do something that I don't ever do. Like, Uh ever. I kind of owe you an apology. Oh, uh, <laughs> did you? Did you have a sorry? I do have a sorry, and I don't ever apologize for anything, people, because I'm kind of a jerk. Um, he, he's not lying. That's it's really true. this he's, is completely true. It's kind of a dick. But I have to apologize because I did something called thread jacking.